we get in the clinch with Mike the Storm Chupa. Let's go! Well, uh, we're here uh, with Mike Chupa, who's uh, preparing for his uh, upcoming fight. He's been pushed from November up until January, right? Uh, who are you fighting on that card? Um, I'm fighting a guy named uh, Matt Madrid out of uh, Jackson's Mixed Martial Arts out of Albuquerque. You know, a pretty notable school, so it's gonna be a it's gonna be a good one. And um, is there anything uh, you're doing uh, different for this fight? Are you taking the same approach you've been taking before? Uh, well, um, a couple of fights before we didn't have a real uh, camp put together, real fight team put together. So uh, now we're a little bit more structured. Um, learned from a couple of the last fights and stuff like that. I just came back off a two-year layoff, so everything's coming back to me now. Uh, I've been training hard for about six, seven months. Um, but yeah, now we're just we're, we're, we're getting around. You know, we used to just stay so bottled up, so training with just each other. You know, now we're all around El Paso and stuff like that. Training with the best that El Paso has. You know, everywhere from here at Hayashi's Martial Arts to Bushido to you know El Paso Jiu Jitsu. So I mean, we're taking the best from all those guys and trying to bring up El Paso as a whole. Um, some of the elite fighters coming out of El Paso, man, just get we get no exposure. You know what I mean? Being such a small city and such a small MMA scene that, um, you know, finally we banded together and stuff like that, and we're, we're having some good showings at, you know, grappling tournaments and MMA fights and stuff like that, so, you know, we got a couple of guys, you know, doing some things coming out of El Paso, and, uh, so it should, you know, it should be good for the next couple of years. And, um, well, um, how would you describe your style, or, uh, you know, how do you see the fight going in this upcoming event? Well, I've been, I've been working a lot on my hands, my hands got better. Um, for a long time. I, I wrestled since I was six years old, and uh, for a long time I was just a wrestler. I would, you know, use just my wrestling. I was not scared to stand up, but I wasn't confident to stand up. But now I think I'm more of a complete freestyle fighter. Um, you know, I got some good training partners with some hands on them. You know, I still got good wrestling partners, and I got some good jiu-jitsu guys. Um, so, you know, I'm just more of a well, well-rounded fighter now. I I like to go into fights without a game plan because as soon as you plan on something, it never goes that way. So I just like being ready for anything. You know right, so it sounds like uh, you're taking your uh, training on you know, to the next level. Yeah. And um, anything ahead, uh, aside from the King of the Cake fight, uh, I know you've well, you got to be focused for each of the fights, but is there anything you have planned aside from that? Yeah, um, we, uh, I'll, I'll be November 6th, which is this Saturday, I'll be down in uh, Mesa, Arizona for the championship uh, grappling. Uh, the grappling championships down there, so uh, go down there, you know, see how we do there, just stay active, there's going to be uh, another grappling tournament November 20th on Fort Bliss, we'll also do that, I'm looking at a fight I'm trying to get right now in Clovis, Texas, and looking, uh, my manager, which is also my wife, is looking right now to try to get me a, a contract to go fight with those guys, i got a huge promotion out there that just opened up, so I'm just trying to get out as much as possible, you know what I mean, and I stay ready, I always stay trained, so they tell me to fight tomorrow, I will. Right. Sounds like you're ready, you know, taking it to the next level. We have a lot of things coming. You know, we look forward to, you know, your next fight and uh, hearing about the results for your government tournament. All right. Just want to, uh, just want to uh, thank you, say thank you to my sponsors, Hayashi Martial Arts, uh, Sensei Taichi Hayashi. He's been uh, my main instructor, Mondo Rosales. Uh, those guys took me to the next level. All my training partners, uh, Supreme Assailant, uh, my strength and conditioning coach, Chris Pedrosa. He's, uh, he's got me going through this crazy regimen right now. Um, I want to thank Epo Boost um, for giving me the stamina and the, uh, the uh, strength and stuff that I need to keep up these, these um, training regimen that I'm on. I want to thank uh, Zen Therapeutic because, you know, after all this training, I'm pretty sore. I get great deep tissue massages there. Um, who else am I forgetting? Obviously, Hayashi Martial Arts. I want to thank you guys for coming out. Given uh, El Paso fighters, you know, a little bit of exposure, and um, let's just take this city, let's take these fighters, you know what I'm saying, as far as we can. I appreciate it. Thank you.